Hey everyone, it's me, D Shaky, bringing peace and prosperity to the world once again, as long as it raises that bottom line. You know what I'm saying? It's all good stuff here in the great organization of free money making nations. This is good. We have most of North America, most of Africa, Southern Europe. With Italy joining, we are quite the great faction. We also have Brittany too, who's fascist, but we, we don't worry about that. Us in Italy are authoritarian democracies, and then everyone else is a mixture of mostly just regular democracies democracies and Italian puppet states, but we don't judge the Italians for their puppet states. If anything, we admire them for that. Guess we have like puppet states too. These guys broke free. I guess I understand why. I, I don't respect it though. Maybe one day we'll get them back in. We shall begin the decolonization process. I, I, I don't know about that. We freed you from the Germans. You could at least repay us by <laughs> re repaying us. Maybe you could just give us a gift of a billion dollars or something. I don't know. We also freed Indonesia. Maybe they'll join in the OFN soon, hopefully. And we, after losing Hawaii to the Japanese, made it a state, which is an interesting move. I call that a kind of a pro gamer move there. We're going to aid some Hawaiian freedom fighters. We'll see, maybe, wait, we can even fund the Korean resistance. That's kind of close to home for the Japanese. They've owned that for a while now. And Russia's looking rather communist today. The communists won in three out of the four regions and uh, the other one, a <laughs> very interesting guy won. Yes, we'll see what happens there. I I assume he will probably be crushed by Zukov, if I had to guess. Also, Germany has reunited their sphere in the Unity Pact. Most of it, at least. There are some parts that are now out of reach for them, specifically this guy, who I'm sure is doing only interesting things. But yeah, a lot of these areas are now in the OFN, so we do have a lot of control in this region, lots of borders with Germany itself. Who knows what could happen in Burgundy, too. Maybe someone can be ousted, and maybe the Italians can win control over the French and Serbia, possibly, adding them to the OFN. Also, I noticed domestic discontent is worrying, and the American despair is still in full swing. At least, OFN unity is extremely high, so that's the one good thing. Also, we have a buff, since Italy's in the OFN, which is nice. Okay, well, the current president here, Wallace, has some interesting opinions. Also, Africa's getting its independence. I, I guess I'm fine with them not being puppet states of me, but they could at least stay in the OFN. Sad seeing them all leave. They're like communists and social democracies. I wish they just stayed in the OFN though. That's the least they could do for us. Now they're gonna be starting the world revolution or something. Scheming with Zukov or Yagoda or somebody. And the communists have risen up here too against the authoritarians, so there might be a very, very strong communist African presence. And our operation uh, with the CIA to so discontent in Hawaii was successful. We gained some expertise and Japan gets a bad event, I assume. We'll continue doing stuff, I guess. We could also fund the Russian warlords. I don't really know who we want to win. I feel like all these options are bad for us. <laughs> there was no democratic Russia. I guess we just want Yazov to lose, if anything, probably, because in this timeline, we hate the fascist more than we hate the communists, so we will support communist regimes to overthrow nationalist ones. And Spain has fallen into a civil war once again, just like before the Second World War, which is perfect. Now we will start supplying parties in the Iberian War. I assume supporting the Iberian Republic is our great priority. And I think they're the one that we align with most. I guess Franco still kind of likes us. Or we like Franco. But I guess if anybody wins besides the fascist, it's good for us. Oh, maybe we were supposed to be investing in Africa so these places didn't break away? I, I didn't realize this. Uh, I guess that makes sense why they left us. I guess we can just hold on to this last guy here. These other guys are still free at least, so that's that's good. And until Germany falls, the communists are our best friends. Except when it comes to the economy. And that debt is looking uh, pretty low now. We might actually become a debt-free USA. That's, that's how good we are here. France sides with Germany. How dare they? Germany defeated you in like five wars and then you side with them. Could have sided with us and we could have reclaimed France together. Paris and Ost Paris could have been yours, but uh, you had to side with Germany. We could have had a great border stretching from Brest to Sofia. We'll have to just invade them sometime, I don't know. Well, I guess that would probably cause the end of the world, but hey, that's that's just what this mod is about. I also like how our voter base hates us. That's, that's great. And we've become a populist party, yeah. Hmm. So Speer, who's in exile in the OFN, released a book that makes Germany look bad. So they're, they're demanding stuff from us. He says he wants Speer to return to Germany and for publishing of his book to stop. 
stop. Ask him why he wants the book banned. The translator did as the president said. Why does he care if it's all false? He says it makes them look worse because everyone in America believes it. The translator paused, listening to the phone. He struggled to hold in a laugh. He says to turn over Speer right now or we will face the diplomatic wrath of the Reich. Interesting, I, he, he must really not like this book. And as the good guys, I feel like we have to roll back the segregationalist rhetoric and I think this is, this is what we have to do. We have to focus more on the economy and stuff like that than doing all these random things. This totally won't push us further to the right. This, that, that, that's false. Oh no, I should have uh, expected this to happen, but um, Albert Speer has disappeared? Yeah, mm. Okay, apparently people are starting to have an interesting idea for the future of politics. They have pictures of this guy, Yaki, never heard of him, and the mustache man who's been dead for years, so I don't know what, what that's about. Who knows what this means? This, I, I don't know. Also, the situation in Africa has become kind of unbearable. So we're going to pull out of Africa. Our mandate there expires. We have other things to deal with. Also, it's time for some treaty port negotiations because if you remember, um, the Japanese took some ports from us outside of LA and San Francisco. But yeah, it's time to make history. It's time to get our ports back, hopefully. And we have got the treaty ports back from Japan. This is good. We, we now have the port of San Francisco and the port of Los Angeles with names in English that I can read. It's great, now we only have to get Hawaii back. Also, the political map is really weird. I'm, I'm, it, it confuses me, but I'm not gonna question it. Unfortunately, to get Hawaii back, Japan wanted Panama, and I, I, I don't know, I just feel like it's not a worthy trade right there. I guess Hawaii is American territory, while Panama is just like some foreign controlled zone. I don't know, I guess it's already done. I just don't feel like that's something we can give away. We, we need the strategic access here. Oh, and welcome, a new friend to the OFN, Serbia, sided with Italy, therefore joining the OFN. The borders are kind of nice now here. And time to escalate diplomatic crises. And Zukov wants our recognition, which I guess both these guys are communists. We don't really have any reason to like one more than the other, but I guess we'll recognize him so that he likes us and now we have an interest in him winning. And then maybe we can make the club of Russia, Italy, us, even Burgundy, and we can all try to overthrow Germany together. Well, the OFN's control in Egypt is starting to wane. Hopefully Italy's puppet state can win. And the Sosin turn was formed. Still our friends though. We, we're still friends with all those guys. At least until Germany falls, then uh, then we can deal with them. But until then, they're, they're our good friends. And oh, the money. Oh, the economy that used to be so strong is now gone because of an oil crisis. Only hope for economic survival is to ride out the storm and pray for a miracle. At least debt has almost been eliminated. At least we're doing some good, but yeah. Oh yeah, right here, running on fumes. We'll we'll do something. The oil must flow though. We we, we have some ways to get around this. Like the she-wolf that nursed Romulus and his treacherous brother Remus, the United States has come to succor to Italy in its hour of need. So we can either play it safe and let the Italians handle it, or we need the oil. I think we need the oil. I, I think direct intervention is a good idea here. So we'll destabilize everywhere that has oil. Uh, this is good. This is classic U US moves right here. Anyways, it's now time to support our choice in the Iranian Civil War. Pretty sure if these guys win, they join the OFN. So that's that's good. Especially because of the oil. Ah, the oil. Now we have six full divisions here. We're pretty much fighting this war for them at this point. I guess this is what happens when the US wants its oil. <laughs> That was the easiest proxy war ever. This is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this form before the United Arab Republic. Okay, nice. And now we have the first female president and her ideology is apparently just cooing a whole bunch of Latin America governments. Anyways, I think we've done a fine job as America, spreading democracy, getting a lot of money, stealing oil. Also, I, I realized that the Japanese divisions never left their ports over here, so I don't know. There's still just stationed in these cities. That's a little weird. Anyways, I think there's only uh, one thing uh, left to do here, and that's...
after uh, seeing what we did with Hawaii and what um, we have been doing with the oil crisis, our allies uh, don't fully trust us yet. Um, they're being forced to reconsider our motives, which is not good. Apparently, they are questioning whether we're truly devoted to freedom or if we just want money. But things seem to be going overall mostly good in a lot of the smaller countries we really only have to worry about Italy and they are equally invested into this entire oil thing. Japan seems to be uh, stabilized. We don't know for sure what's been going on there, but there was a security uh, breach on Taiwan. Tokyo has been without contact with the island for nearly a month. We are creating a new international branch of the uh, CIA and the OFN to look into this and future problems. And the war in Russia is continuing. We have been supporting the communists in their fight against the other communists in the West. Uh, we also received a telegram from uh, the Ordenstadt Burgund, where we get a lot of our information from. We figured out that to be most effective, we could just leech all of our information gathering off of the Ordenstadt. They seem to have quite this um, international operation that is pretty expansive. They are apparently trying to destroy civilization or something along those lines, but I don't think they're that much of a threat. Anyways, uh, I guess have fun overthrowing regimes in Central America. That's one of my favorite pastimes. I'm glad that new administration will uh, support that, and yeah, I will um, see, you, see you later.